Namaste. Welcome. So this is a quick tutorial for the structural alignment uh, as well as the proper entry uh, holding and how to release a position. It's an advanced position called Kandasana. Um, I've posted a more important tutorial a while back regarding the breath components and the safety as well and how to engage the energy locks or the bandhas. So you, uh, I really recommend that you uh, learn uh, that lesson as well because it's more important. I will be uh, including the link of that tutorial down in the description of this video. All right, so uh, for the structure of the Kandasana, all right, I, I would like to emphasize that this is an advanced position and should not be performed by a beginner, even if you're intermediate, or if you have uh, lower back conditions, knee problems, or any pain or uh, injuries around the spine. Um, no, uh, this um, position is quite advanced and could cause serious injury if you don't do it properly and safely. Yeah. All right, now what are the preparatory elements uh, before you perform the Kandasana? It's a deep flexion, so I don't recommend that you do flexion before this. I would recommend back bends because back bends opens the bottom region of the spine. It uh, awakens the the bottom or the, the actually the, the the whole of your bandhas are activated through back bends. Then after back bending, do some gentle um, binding of the legs like uh, this. Uh, so this is a good preparatory for that one. You might fall forward a bit, but I don't re really recommend deflection before this one because this is a deflection already. And if you do another flexion, uh, your lower back tends to become a little bit loose after that. So be mindful of that. All right, good. So pitfall, it's not just about rotating the ankle like that. It's not just about turning, right? Um, the fact that you're able to move your um, ankle like this is already enough. All right, the action is actually as the as the ankle falls like that the whole of oh, let's let's take a look at this first this one slides in and up all right and then that will actually the movement originates from the origin of the hip so it's like this like your your thigh from the hip slide in and up so in action it looks like that yeah it, and then the ankle is just, or the, the opening of the ankle is just a manifestation of the rest of your thigh and the hip inside moving external and up. Yep, so that is the action. Slide in, external, and then pull up. And then you have to do that together with the breath. And then normally we do that at the top of that preparatory inhalation before you enter the position. All right, next, the spine. So that you don't want to fight the spine forward, rather fold the spine. So it's, it's the, again, it's the bandhas. I, it's inevitable that I have to discuss the bandhas uh, together with this tutorial because it's more important. As you inhale, you're going to slide it or you're going to draw it from the hips and up. And then the, the sensation will actually lengthen from the inside of the body, not to the front. Yeah, like that, like a hook. Together with that sliding in and up of your thighs, you breathe this one up. Yeah, so that makes room for your for the spine um, here uh, to to remain open. Because if you're turning the legs, your lower back will suddenly or will really go to a deflection, and that's not good for the health of your lumbar region. All right, so let's do that. Yeah, here, loosen, loosen, loosen. Yeah, you just don't bend it like that. So you have to time it together with the breath. Like that. So inhale. Yep, see? Inhale. In and up. Yep, and then you go to the position. So I just don't twist my ankle like that. Yeah, there's no pain actually. Um, it's, it's quite comfortable, yeah? If you do it properly, slide in and then draw up. All right, let's repeat that again. Yeah, loosen, loosen. Good. So inhale. Yeah. It's not. It's not folding. Yeah. Neither fighting forward. It's like that. It's like a hook as you do the action of the legs. Inhaling. And then when you feel that you're fully supported, exhale. But don't um, do it sudden. Exhale gently. And then to 
adjust, do the action again, in and out. And then you might be feeling some imbalance around the hips. You might loosen a bit, but keep the, the drawing in and out action of the breath. And here the spine is open. Yeah. No discomfort at all. The feet feel um, naturally or passively stretching. It's not rotation in the knees. It's more of your inner thighs turning in, the origin of the thigh bone turning external, and then you're gonna draw it all the way up together with the breath. Remember, you don't wanna be fighting your ribs forward. Keep everything sliding to the backs of the body. Inhale, yeah, so the, the rest of your uh, spine remains open as you're doing here a deep flexion, deep down the lumbar region. Yeah, but the band does support that part of the spine so it doesn't contract right. too much. And together with the rest of your structure. Yeah, let's scan the asana. Ankles, no pressure, no pressure here, no pressure here. Spine can move, you can breathe, and you can hold this position meditated. Yeah, you can place your hands here. If you're quite comfortable, you can place your hands behind to do a reverse prayer position. And here, see? Um, I don't I don't feel any pressure at all in the low back so I can do um, all my mudras yeah while I hold this position I can even sway the arms lift the arms up you can do um, a stepana mudra there yeah, meditative you can twist this one to the side to the side you can fold inward but if you fold inward keep drawing up so the aim of this position is actually to really open deep down the origin of the hips where the Kundalini energy is lying and then together with the bandhas you're drawing that energy up, yeah? And to how to release. Inhale, same. In and then to release, same as the entry. Inhale, in and up. At the top of that inhalation, support your feet by lifting them just up a bit. Yep, uh, clip the top of the inhale. And then slowly release your legs, release your feet, but keep drawing them up. Yep. Same. Inhaling, in and up. And at the top of it, clip the throat lock. All right, loosen. And then when you feel that your legs are fully supported, exhale gently and place your feet down the ground. All right. So that's Kandasana. Structurally and some breath components, make sure you study as well the more important lesson I, I posted a while back. I'll see you next time for more. Namaste.